Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Skull Drawings. Get your skull on. So, <clears throat> but anyways, get your tattoo on, really. Um, this is going to be all about tattoos. Uh, you know, this channel's kind of changing, and I'm going to make it more about tattoo art mostly. So what I want to do is a very typical tattoo art design, which would be the skull and dagger design. Very typical, very uh, classic. Very uh, classic. So, let me show you the pencil I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this uh, Nero Hard, and it's a call. It's a Krita color. That's pretty much all it is. It's, uh, it's essentially just a Prismacolor pencil that I got at the store, and it has a, obviously it's not the same. It's not Prismacolor brand. It's not a Prismacolor brand, but I'm gonna use it. So I drew a little bit of an under sketch. If you look below, this is just the placement of it. I just drew a quick circle where the dagger's gonna go through the middle. And you have a little bit of scroll on the side. So let me start really quick by drawing the skull. Um, I'm going to make the skull kind of facing to the left. And I'm going to do the usual, as if you've seen my other videos. I'm going to find the thirds, the top of the hairline, which would be where the front of the skull curves into the back, the, uh, the brow line below the nose, and the bottom of the chin. It doesn't have to be correct, and I might give it a little bit of expression. Uh, I'm going to find the eye sockets. That's going to be a big deal. I'm going to put some squares for the eye sockets. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to uh, find the nasal cavity, another square, another like kind of triangle shape. Think of it like a jack-o'-lantern. The zygomatic arch, which are the cheekbones. And then tooth cylinder. Top of the head. I have the sword coming through the head. It come through the bottom of the skull, like the bottom jaw, bottom part of the jaw. But uh, for now, what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to concentrate on the skull only. So I'm going to actually start working my way into it. Inside of the mouth, it's kind of shading that in. I'm not using any eraser. I probably should grab one eventually, but that's eventually. Lower jaw, a very distinctive shape. I want it to kind of look like he's laughing a little bit. Pull 
pulling that bottom shape out of the bottom jaw. Small crevice in the back of his
Okay, one thing is these dimples right here are very important. Um, I feel like they kind of make the skull look like a real skull. It can make it look from like cartoony to, you know, actually something. It'd be these dimples right here. This is the zygomatic arch, the cheekbone, and then right here. Some dimples below the eye and to the, you know, they're on both sides. They're below, below both eyes, so just something to watch for. So I'm going to throw some more darks right here toward where the, kind of toward the center part because I feel that will be the darkest area. And so what I want to do also would be, um, the light source is going to be coming from above. What I want to do after the dark values are in, although I'm not totally done with all the dark values, is I'm going to start feathering, smoothing it out. I'm going to do like, let's take this area. It's going to be dark. And then I'm going to, as I do this, I'm going to lighten it up as it hits up, as it goes up. Do this again right here. And then lighten it up as it goes upward toward the light source. So one thing that is kind of a big deal to me when I'm working on uh, drawings is this kind of section where it's going to look like not so great. It's going to look all muddy. It's going to look unfinished. And the only way to kind of deal with that is to let yourself know that, hey, it will turn out. Turn out okay. A lot of people tend to turn back. You know what I mean? It kind of turns into this big mess. But just spend time on it. All it is is like finessing, smoothing, finessing, smoothing. Because a lot of the construction is pretty much made up. You're refining. Putting a cast shadow to try to make this all look in the same picture, you know, from his lower jaw. I'm 
putting some chinks in the sword. So it looks like it's been used. So I'm doing this kind of feathering thing everywhere. When I have the darks and the solids, I start pulling these half tones. So I'm continuing to finesse here, um, pulling dark sheeps. Uh, pulling, like, you know, really making these kind of dark, and then, like I said, pulling half tone to connect things all together. Going the sword, well, the sword connects sometimes as triangular uh, feature to it. At the base where it goes into the skull, I want to make it extra dark. Put on some cracks.
Again, going back through, finding things to, to kind of smooth and, you know, darken. Again, darkening kind of the pit of that hole in the eye socket for the eye socket. Doing the same thing here for the nose. Now I'm going to go over here and look at the kind of flag, the cloth, the scroll. Certain areas of it I will make it look aged. Think about how the light will hit and how we'll kind of be darkest at the pit there, at the you know the the deepest portion of the fold. Some tears in that paper. Oops, dropped my pencil. Continuing right here, making this darkest, darkest area of the fold there. Looking at again, um, going to make the outside of this a little darker. So I can 
see it better. Same thing over here. Going up to the hilt now. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna shape the hilt out. Just cleaning that up, making it a solid shape. Using my kneaded eraser to clean up some of the things there. 